latest on Cyclone Idai, which continues to intensify today. Now a Category 3 with winds of 125 miles an hour and a pressure of 938 millibars. At 6 p.m. Eastern African time this March 11th, it was a intensifying storm on the CDPS as well. Still a stage seven there with major impacts expected on Mozambique. That's if it makes landfall at its expected intensity. We would expect it to be a stage seven by the time it does so, which would be catastrophic. Now the storm has already killed 35 in Southern Africa so far. It's at 17.6 south, 42.7 degrees east which puts it just south of Juan de Nova Island, 36 miles. It's moved very little in the last 24 hours. 93 miles from Mainturano in Madagascar, 214 from Moandava, 380 from Kelimane in Mozambique, and 537 from Beira. Tropical storm conditions are expected in these yellow areas in the next 48 hours, or possible I should say. Um, some of it is probably still occurring on the western coast of Madagascar, but the storm is starting to move away a little bit. Just in case it deviates further south, we've kept some more of the island in the yellow colour there. And that is actually what the GFS is predicting. A southward motion initially, then curving towards the west over the Mozambique Channel, intensifying further to Category 4 status most likely, and then curving up towards the northwest into Mozambique by the end of the week, then stalling and then turning around yet again back out into the Mozambique Channel. Now that scenario is gaining more traction through the models and so this storm could be continuing after the Mozambique landfall and delivering more misery to the whole region. Sea surface temperatures are around 27 or even 28 degrees Celsius, uh, which is certainly more than enough to sustain a storm of this intensity. Here's the wind chart. Again, the GFS model run showing initially that southward movement and then southwest curving gradually towards the west um, and then eventually turning towards the northwest just before striking Mozambique. Other models may say differently and we'll get a look at that shortly, but that is the general gist of what we're expecting over the next five days. And of course, beyond that period becomes a little bit sketchy, uh, but we do expect it to move back out over the Mozambique channel over the weekend. You can see it there on those last images there. The chances of tropical storm force winds in the next five days look like this. 95% at Juan de Nova, 90% at Mine Tirano, 60 in Kelimane, 40% in Beira and 20% further west inland at Kimoyo in Mozambique. Uh, looking at these models again then, here's the uh, consensus if there is one. The HWRF looks like it's on the top of the range there, very close to Category 5 status it expects in about 24 hours. Wind shear, according to the GFS, remains extremely low, below 10 knots, so that's certainly good enough to sustain even a Category 5 if the storm was to move enough to avoid any upwelling, which isn't really occurring as it is. Temperatures are still very warm, 29 degrees according to that chart there. So this is what's actually going on, the latest satellite imagery, this covers a 12 hour period since our last update and you can see just how little it's moved really, it's movement probably about 10 miles or so in that 12 hour period after another 3 miles in the previous 12 hour period, so very slow movement but it is appearing to uh, just get a little bit more of a spurt on in those latest frames. I cleared out earlier, not quite as clear at the minute but it does appear to be getting a little bit more rounded so perhaps another round of intensification is still yet to come. We'll see and we'll keep you updated with more updates. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text and our Twitter handle. It's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. Of course, you can come into direct contact with us by uh, messaging fool13 on Discord at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. And our partners are also doing updates Mateo, a Cyclo Maurice on Facebook.